Teen dating violence is essentially domestic violence among teens. And this month is dedicated to sharing information with parents and teachers, as many people think it may not affect preteens or teens. Now here's how one organization is working to break the cycle. On this day, we wear orange. It's bright, it's vibrant. To encourage parents, educators, and teens to know the facts about teen dating violence. We're seeing it as early as the sixth grade when they are exploring what relationships look like, feel like, uh, but we find a lot of times that they're modeling unhealthy relationships that they're either seeing in their home or on social media or on reality TV. And since dating is not allowed for most teens, warning signs like possessiveness or isolation may go under the radar because the child is afraid to tell their parents. What's most concerning for me, um, especially as a mom, is not knowing, right? They're hiding it and talking amongst each other. Sanu Dang, the executive director of Transitions Family Violence Services in Hampton, says social media can also play a role in the abuse. So then there's the social shaming that happens in school and then the bullying. Ding and other anti-violence agencies held a press conference last week to call on lawmakers to address funding concerns. If we're not able to take care of the services that are necessary, we're failing the next generation of children who are already crying out for help. All month they will share information, including teens and an adult may request a protective order. If we're gonna end domestic violence, it's important that we don't forget this piece, this prevention piece, getting to young people before they experience harm in a relationship. And later this month on Monday, February 26, teens from 14 to 18 are welcome to join a teen dating awareness workshop. That's from 430 until six o'clock, but you do have to RSVP. If you'd like to learn more, just look for this story under the domestic violence awareness page over on wavy.com.